Greetings, I'm Caffeine Ranger. I'm back with more Betrayer. Last time we finished up the investigations at Fort St. George, and now we're on to a new area that I have absolutely no clue what's going on as of yet. Because we have just got here. Oh, and we did also have some trouble getting here, getting a little lost. <laughs> Always feels good to get a one-shot kill on this, guys. Should be, yeah, there's another one right there. Just need to sneak up on him a bit more. Oh, he's been trading with the natives as well. Oh, great. Huh. I was surprised I actually got the kill on him. So far, so good, actually. Let's see what you have. A cracked longbow that's broken. So is it cracked or is it broken? Wish you would make up your mind on that. A worn musket. And a chest over here. Yeah, maybe this is the last area, because some of these achievements are... That one's at 32 of 40. It's not unreasonable to expect there to be... Oh, sorry, I saw the plant moving in the breeze, was it? Oh, shit, this could be trouble. Uh oh. Got all but one of them down. And yes, I popped some explosive on a guy that really didn't need to. Oh. Exchange blows there at the end. But got through it. Got both of my tomahawks back, so that's good. So I run around and collect arrows and silver brooches and all sorts of goodies. Looks like we're coming up on that town or whatever this settlement is right here. Oh, didn't mean to hit that. I hope this place isn't being besieged like the last town was. Because that was fun. Oh, crap. Yes, it is. <laughs> Knocked the air... The... Bow right out of his hands. Okay, that's two down. Let's take a look at the town. Not much of a town. Barely more than a couple houses together. But then again, that explain that's about the size of a lot of towns near where I live, so it's not exactly unrealistic. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, great, a big guy. Not sure what you call them, the commanders, the conquistadors. Giant pains in the asses. Sounds like the we have to go behind where we are. But we may as well go after this guy for a bit. Because he doesn't know exactly where we are. 
That's called exploiting the AI. <laughs> oh. So we'll go ahead and... Oh, sounds like there's still someone down here. Andrew on Annie Bell, midwife, murdered. Uh-oh. And another achievement where we haven't really gotten the achievements until this point, so that makes me think that we're kind of wrapping things up. Is there a barrel of water around here somewhere? I don't know about uh, can't carry more ammo of this type. Oh, there it is. Have a nice cool refreshing drink. Mr. Baines returned with reports of Indian sentries fanned out to the west to intercept any party attempting to pass this uh, pass that way. He found that a he found a promising route that should take us well to the south of the disputed area and avoid any quarrel. It is my wish that we conclude that we continue conclude that this exposition without harming the friendship that we built with that tribe. Okay. More places that we need a shovel that we still haven't found the shovel, which is strange. Very strange that we haven't found the shovel yet. I would have expected it in like the second area. At considerable risk to my personal welfare, I've found a few additional items. These are hard won prizes and, and are therefore offered at a somewhat higher price than I would normally ask. But such is the way of the merchant trade. John Howe. What? No merchant this time? Ugh. I swear he's slipping. Top off our arrows. And let's see what he has. Looks like more charms. Because I don't really see anything else offhand that is a lot better than what he had. Okay. If you say so. Oh, another note. By the order of Honorable Lord Governor James Markley, from this day forward, no member of this colony shall consort or have conference with the naturals without the leave without leave of captain or council upon pain of death, for even a small personal feud between one man might lead to a great rift between us and the tribe that could cost many English lives. Okay. So it sounds like there, there was some tensions and they were able to resolve them, but Fort Hope. Okay, so it looks like we have, I was asking for the signpost. It looks like at least one more area, but we'll figure out what's going on here. At least we cleared out that area, so it's a good fast travel spot for the, when we move on. Yeah, I'm spamming the listen key to try to figure out where we're going. Because before it sounded like we were heading to that town, but now I'm not so sure. Uh-oh. Dug up a distinctive wool sp uh, shawl spattered with dry blood. The remains of a woman. The front of her skull appears to be caved uh, in by a heavy blow. Uh, take it this is the murder scene of the woman's grave we found. The midwife took up a huge rock covered in dry blood. I believe we have the murder weapon. And now we're heading to the south, probably down in this area. Well, we know the road is pretty much cleared out, so we can just hoof across that. What's this mountain that I'm not so certain about? Oh, 
I wonder if we have another bell in there. Oh, there's a Spaniard. Looks like another little settlement here. Yeah, probably about right here. Oh, yeah, that's what this is then. Can I make that shot, though? Well, didn't mean to shoot, but good thing he didn't notice it. Stay below the ridge of the hill and cross over. Okay. And use the tree for a little bit of cover to get closer. Okay, that's him down. Ooh, is that another big one? At least we're are full up on health, so it's not too bad. We'll leave the notes and stuff until after we clear out this area. That was not a time for a deflection. Nor was that. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. The hell? What the hell? <laughs> Let's go. What the hell is that? That was strange. There's red. She wasn't here last time. And did these guys respawn? That was weird. I guess the AI kind of bugged out or it lost sync with the model and where the enemy was. I, don't, I have no idea what the hell went, was going on there. <sighs> Just a very weird bug that I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> All right, Red, what's up? We often pass through these through this area. We rarely stayed very long. Those who lived here seemed to have little use for the rest of us. They were eager to be away from the large settlements, even knowing that there were no walls or soldiers to defend them. I think some people choose to live on the hill, hoping that the hike would discourage visitors. Alright, that's all she has to say for now. And I do have to admit that I know several people like that. Fill up on arrows. And I hear a Spaniard nearby. Ugh. I'm almost tempted to, to take the eastern path and clear the road. Probably not a bad idea. Because I have a feeling coming from the back of the village, it's probably making things a lot more interesting than it needs to be. I do have to admit, even though the game has its faults. Oh.
Uh, did I aggro a second one that I didn't see? Yes, yes I did. You know, just a general lack of direction, which actually it's kind of helping the atmosphere. It's a surprisingly competent game artistic wise. I don't see it using assets as much as I feared it would for the landscape. I mean, yes, having Spaniards all the time is kind of boresome, but uh, you could really say that about any game, can't you? Uh, let's get behind the rock and it's that one Spaniard off there in the distance. I had a more suitable sniping rifle because I think the muskets are going to be more inaccurate because of the nature of a musket. It's not a rifled gun, so it's going to naturally be more inaccurate. All right, let's wait. Really? There we go. Oh. Even though they don't seem to have trouble hitting them, uh, hitting longer shots. Oh, there's the big guy that we didn't address yet. Can I? No, I don't think I can make that shot. That long a shot uphill is going to be very tricky. Ugh. Jerk. Oh, there's the other corpse. Actually, a little lower on ammo than I was hoping to be for this. Yeah, maybe the backside was the good idea. Because <laughs> this is... Go, going uphill like this is a pain. Okay. I just hope whatever happened last time doesn't happen again. Found a w simple wooden hairpin. Okay. Ah, damn. Missed. Okay, there's my tomahawk's gone. Oh! Let's get behind the trees. Whew! That was so close, you could feel the wind come off of it, I bet. Okay. Big guy gone. This should be a lot easier. Oh, there's an arrow I'm never gonna find. Oh, that's not good. Phew! Good thing I popped him in the head. Was that it this time? There's still gonna be some. Oh, well, there's the. Bell that I was expecting. Oh. Did he just shoot right through me?
There we go. Ah, oh, that was a mess. But all destinations unlocked now. So, that worked out in the end. Uh, once again, another broken bow. Let's hit the shop again. Oh, actually, we topped off on arrows. Need to reload, though. And start reading notes. We were served by the Indian king's own daughter. By the Indian king's own daughter. A most inquisitive and lovely girl. Her name is Amuant. I don't have a feeling something bad happened to her. Dug up a, sil a silver pendant that appears to have housed a cameo. The cameo is missing. Yeah, the fact that we're getting all these achievements is making me worry about the length of the game, or how much we have remaining. Because we still have no idea who Red is. We really don't know who we, who our character, playing character, player, playable character is. Other than he was shipwrecked. There's still a lot of mysteries to go, and I hope they saw, uh, you know, give us answers. Because I really disagree with Alan Wake that the Unanswered mystery is the best mystery of all. Wasn't there a note around? Yes, there was. Whoa! A novel! <laughs> this will wrap things up. Today I was told a story of two brothers. While hunting, the younger one slipped and fell from a high path and was injured. So the older one made, it, made a shelter for him, lit a fire, and said that he would return when he had finished the hunt, for their family would soon starve if they returned home empty-handed. When night fell, a strange voice called out and, and asked to share the fire, for the night was cold and evil things were afoot. The wounded hunter agreed and soon a skeleton came forward and sat down on the flat stone beside him. The hunter trembled with fear but nothing, but said nothing when he woke and, and when he woke the next morning, the skeleton was gone. He thought it must have been a dream, but that night the skeleton returned and again asked to share the fire. Again, neither of them spoke, and again the skeleton was gone by daybreak. Just before nightfall on the third day, the older brother returned. He was very solemn, for he had killed no quarry, but he knew he must return the younger brother home before he became too weak to travel. It was too late to depart, so they decided to leave at dawn. The younger brother warned that they might have a visitor and insisted that the older brother not, that the older brother must tolerate their guest no matter how how he felt upon seeing him. The older brother agreed. Soon the strange voice called out just as before. The older brother recalled when he saw the skeleton come forward into the firelight, but the younger brother had put a hand on his arm, and they all sat quietly until the brothers fell asleep. When they woke the next morning, the skeleton was gone, and three freshly killed rabbits laid before the sto stone where the, where the skeleton had slept, or had set. An interesting story. So, the moral of it, I guess, is to quietly tolerate skeletons? I, yes, yes, I know. There, don't ha there doesn't always have to be a, mora a moral to the story. So, next time we will be heading to the southwest, probably down in this area somewhere, to try to figure out what happened here, because... Let's face it, there's not going to be a happy ending to this. There never is. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you again with more of Betrayer next time.